I can't believe you didn't play this campaign. I know, I know. This one, I feel, has the best ending. It's kind of the only really? ending where I was like, holy shit, this is actually sort of awesome. Another but one. the gameplay throughout the whole thing is pretty meh. Yeah. That meal looks delicious, though. It kind of does. It's, yeah, probably my least favorite to play, but my favorite ending-wise. Not like back home. Plus, Chris is such a loser now. Yeah. He lost all those boulder punchy muscles. Punchy. Man arms are gone. You've had enough. Look at him, he's just average now. I know, it is kind of <laughs> funny. And he's an asshole. And he's an asshole. He's like, shut your mouth, whore. Oh. But he got owned, so that's okay. Owned. He's like, I'm gonna go cry with this bottle. QQ. QQ. Oh. But he can still knock a guy, I guess. <laughs> I ca I kind of like the the story though, like, because I mean I don't quite know what's going on, but Chris Redfield was like the uh, sort of like you know the icon guy of Resident Evil, and then now he's like drunk <laughs> in some bar. He's probably been in the most games that I can think of, even when he's not in the game. Like, he's yeah, mentioned quite a yeah. bit as well. He's a pretty main... I mean, it's hard to say who like who the face of Resident Evil really is, but I don't know. Chris Redfield is kind of synonymous with the series. I always think of Jill and Yeah, Jill. Chris. Jill, Chris. What is this? Okay. You don't remember me? Well, how about that? I'm not sure how this corresponds with Revelations. I don't really know my Resident Evil timeline. But I liked him in Revelations. He's, he's good. Yeah, like, I mean, I guess I haven't played this, so I shouldn't say anything yet, but there's a considerable absence of Jill in this game. Ah, Jill. Jill. No Jill sandwiches. But they brought back Sherry, which is kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, no, I thought that was you awesome. Know. And Ada. Oh, yeah. I don't. Has there ever been a game with Leon in it that didn't have Ada? I don't think so. Maybe Operation Raccoon City. Uh. Well. Well. That technically, they, that's just a rehash of the original story. Well, two story, but. I haven't played that one, but I don't recall. The story is also filled with so much bromance, it's not even <laughs> funny. I think a lot of Resident Evil show a lot of bromance. I can't keep running away. I have to face the truth. Accept responsibility. That's the only way I'll ever remember. He must have some really bad PTSD. That's probably back. why he decided to be <laughs> drunk all the time. No change to your mission. Oh, we go right into China? Yeah. While proceeding to point Ace of Spades. Because everybody else gets a super hot or moderately marginally <laughs> yeah. attractive female partner, and Chris is just stuck with a dude who wears a scarf. You remember that picture I sent you? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> that exactly sums it up. He's like, oh, I really miss Sheva right about now. <laughs> you could get me some of that. Uh, he's got plenty of man. Ah! Oops. Jesus Christ! I stepped on you, sorry. Thank you. My bad. You don't step on Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield steps on you! I got a knife, yeah. Yeah, his knife is pretty sweet, I gotta say. What do I have? I have... every... maybe everything. Maybe not everything, but close to. Shotgun, grenade launcher, ow, <laughs> rifle. Oh, you just fully lie, okay. Well, that's fair, because I was fully loaded the last two games, so... 
Missing out on a lot of bullets, though. I don't have a lot of ammunition. A lot of guns with no ammo. Not very helpful. Kind of like Chris's uh, interface, though. Looks cool. What color is yours? You like yellowy green? Yeah, mine too. Uh. Oh the shit. Has arrived on the scene. I have no times with a press. Uh. Get out of my face. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a great time for that. Oh, uh, that's not... fucking media. It, they would be doing that too. It's not terribly appropriate, but whatever. If you get blown up, it's not my problem. Come in, HQ. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Again with the explosions. I also think that <laughs> this fire. is the worst one. I mean, I pointed out. Holy shit. The fire and explosions a lot in Jake and Sherry's, but yeah. oh my god. Yeah, I, sus I suspected, like, if there was any campaign that would be really action packed, it would be Chris's. Like, all military macho and cool guys don't look at explosions. Just t full testosterone all the time. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, oh wait, was that a medallion? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> I'm gonna shoot it with my... Oh wait, wow, that... Hmm. <laughs> that didn't work. That did. There probably wasn't a great gun for that. Probably should've used my pistol. Would you use a magnum? Uh, I used a rifle, I think. Eh. Oh, whoops. Don't shoot the citizens. Shoot Come the citizens? Now. No, don't. Don't. Un unless they're mutated, then you can shoot the shit out of them. Yeah, right. Oh shit. <laughs> Jesus, ah. my back. I'm getting blasted over here. Tell me. Man, we always gotta assist Bravo. I know. There's no reasoning with these bastards. They always send in Alpha, and Alpha always gets shit fucked, and yeah, then they it, send in Bravo, and then Bravo gets screwed over. Wasn't that so wasn't that like literally the plot of Resident Evil 5 in the beginning? Like we sent in Alpha team, they got fucking screwed. We're gonna send in Bravo team now. Well, they and then got. Then we're gonna screwed. send in Charlie, and then we never hear past. It's healing itself. You never hear past Charlie. Sometimes yeah. Delta, but yeah. Then we ran out of. <laughs> oh God, no. That was a cheap shot. Bullshit. I also had this discussion with somebody the other day that in every single zombie outbreak scenario, the military is always first on the scene and they always fail miserably. Yeah, we, we should probably start training our military for zombie apocalypse. Like, I don't know if it, you know, if they would be that useless, but... No, probably not that useless, but I don't know. They could use some zombie apocalypse training. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. I think this is China before everybody gets here. So this is like before China's completely infected no, with no, those no, mega no. virus. Right. It was kind of unexplained. We just kind of dropped into China. Their story is a little different because it goes from like past to present to past to oh present. really like, like it kind of bounces around. oh that's cool yeah i think that's cool so instead of starting in you know adonia <laughs> we start in china instead interesting uh just give me a sec i'm gonna see if i can change mm, i don't know that's actually not bad maybe i'll <laughs> wow, this is in this is inappropriate. <laughs> oh my god. That's so inappropriate working good environment. Stuff. Hell Mr. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that, Chris? What is that? You know, I'm going to file a sexual like a harassment <laughs> right claim against you. There's nothing back here, I don't think. That's a disappointment. Actually, Piers would probably be really into that. Oh, you think so? Is he swinging that way? He's just <laughs> really, really into Chris. Yeah, and that's it's cool. A little, it's a little strange. I mean, Chris is all right. Chris is all right. Doesn't get your uh, man stamp of approval. Well, up against Leon, obviously <laughs> not. Oh. Uh. 
Ooh, there's also a lot of grenades in this campaign. I think I mentioned that earlier. Which is good. I'm gonna try and use them. Oh, I, I get it now. Chris was all sad and lost all his muscle and he stopped working out and he's drunk in a bar because Wesker died. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh, it makes sense. Doesn't it? I just realized he, Wesker's gone, so he's got no reason to get all jacked up anymore. I get it. Okay. You're still going on about that <laughs> Chris and Wesker thing, aren't it's you? It's a thing. It's <laughs> holy shit! That guy came out of nowhere. Oh. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm gonna go with. That's canon. Yeah, that's why Chris Jill's not around either. He's Wesker. just like Jill. It's the truth is I'm I was actually in a Wesker. All clear. I loved him. I loved him. <laughs> just say that with such a straight face. Like I loved him. <laughs> Jill would be like, "Well, what the hell?" Like, yeah, I lied to you. I'm sorry. My bad. Oh god. And then I sent you that like naked photo of Chris, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, why?" <laughs> yeah. Doing you a favor. Oh God. The internet's a strange place. A very strange place. Like when I was looking for. Oh right, right. <laughs> this is like, this happened to both of us separately. Yeah, we were looking for a, a thumbnail image, and it was just Jake X Sherry, and it's like, wow, this is uncomfortable. Yeah, all I, this all is... I searched was Resident Evil Six Jake and Sherry, and you get like fan fiction. Jake and this Sherry. is not what I was looking for. I was like, for. no, what? <laughs> Thanks, Google. Where, yeah, where is the PG filter? Come on, Google. <laughs> oh, God. You also fight a lot of Java in this campaign. Yeah, it seems like it. Significantly more than we have had to fight before. Yay. Oh no. Shoot him, Chris. He's going to mutate. Yeah, Chris, now would be a good time to... No. no, no, gotta do it in classic Resident Evil fashion. You have to walk in the door with your smallest, most pathetic gun, and you have to wait until after it's mutated to shoot it. Like, look at him, he just like... Whatever. I think I'll just stand here some more. I like your arm, bro. Like, <laughs> here's just sitting there the whole time, just like, what is he waiting for? Idiot. Oh, well, you let that guy die, Chris. Good work, man. And now he's having some flashbacks and he's all upset with himself. Jeez, Chris. This could have oh. been prevented, Chris. Yeah. Nice. Straight to the brain. It's kind of nice that you have the soldiers helping you out in the beginning, I suppose. Yeah, that's definitely different. You I don't, don't know get how much back up. They do, but you get to work in a a super team type environment. It's not just you know you get to team up with the other characters when you find them. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It is you drop cool. anything? No. Oh. Oh, when I use my last shotgun shot. That's upsetting. <laughs> HQ. Alpha team reporting. I don't like that kind of thing. Ooh. Infrared. Infrared. Yeah. Probably not very wise to use in this particular situation. Yeah, I don't think that'd be too helpful. It's been a while since I've played their campaign, so I'm just trying to figure out my, uh, my inventory. Grenade. I don't Ooh. think that I should hit anybody. Uh, I hit a couple oh, people. I hit one guy, I guess. That's cool. My handgun is massive. <laughs> nice. Like in, like, in comparison to the other ones, you probably have the same gun. Oh, is that a like, handgun? That's a handgun! Holy gun. shit, I thought that was a yeah. magnum! Right? Oh my it's, god. It's huge! Or at I, least he uses 9mm ammo. Yeah, well, I, I think, don't, yeah. I thought it was a magnum. I'm not a gun expert, but holy damn. Ooh, loot in here. Alright. 
Because, yeah, when they when they walked in, they had their handguns, and yeah. I was like, that's, hmm, that's unusual. Damn. Holy shit. Emblem. Emblem. Over here. If you care. Bam. I kind of care. Because those are separate. Yeah. I suppose that's fine. Oh, God. I'm such a pain in the you ass for me well. to go and get those. <laughs> yeah. Especially the harder ones, like shooting certain timed ones with the helicopter and driving over it, the one in the uh, snowstorm. Oh, yeah. That, that's bullshit right there. The snowstorm <laughs> one. Right? It's ridiculous. Like that right there is why I usually <laughs> nice. Why I usually don't. Uh, oh, you motherfucker! Why I usually don't 100% uh, games like that. Too much effort. I like, you know, there's a difference between a challenging achievement and one that is just like purposely. Dif yeah difficult for the sake of being like, you know what? We're gonna make him real holy shit, really work for it. Ah. Like, or if it's meaningful, you know what I mean? Like, one of the games I did complete and get all the collectibles in, which did take a long time, was Bioshock. I got all the audio diaries. Oh yeah, and, uh, so did I. Like, that was interesting though, because I wanted to hear the story. They all have, like, significance to the story. Yeah. But something like uh, Assassin's Creed, where you collect those stupid flags, that's boring. I don't care about the flags. Like, it's just to collect them for collecting's sake. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. There were a lot of flags in that yeah. game, too. <laughs> that's an example of a game I did not complete. 